Hi there. In this lecture, we see Hu Yifan, a four times women's world chess champion, against Grandmaster Li Chao. This is in 2011, the Hainan Danzu GM tournament, round eight. So e4 from Hu Yifan. And Li Chao replies with the Sicilian defense. We have the Keres system, knight c6, and then we get a transposition. So d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. And it goes into the classical variation. So we have the classical variation set up with the two knights out and with d6. Bishop g5, e6. So this is the Rick Terrelza system being used by Hu Yifan. We see white casting queenside, bishop d7, f4, b5. Bishop takes f6, g takes f6, king b1, b4, knight c e2, queen b6, queen e1, h5. We see now knight takes c6, bishop takes c6, f5, e5, and now queen h4. So this becomes the target for the moment, f6. And actually, black plays an incredible move, which maybe might take you by surprise, but can you guess what black played here? For 100 points okay king e7 it's interesting you know black has the bishop pair has potential attack on the king here the king might actually be the safest with this structure on e7 knight g3 and it looks as though well black has to do something about knight takes h5 surely actually black plays bishop h6 just offering h5 bishop g5 we have queen g4 and here now queen c5 it's difficult to get access to f6 now h4 takes away the h4 square for the moment from the queen so there's no way of ganging up now that easily on f6 and the bishop eyes g5 so there's no amazing sacrifice just yet with knight takes f6 we see rook h3 a5 and here it seems to be there may be a critical mistake here queen f3 was played perhaps this is a bit slow in the circumstance but it's got this attack brewing up maybe queen e2 it seems as though this might be an improvement on the game so here for example bishop d4 g4 if a4 yeah black's got this brewing attack which looks rather dangerous but Let's go with g5 as an example. f takes, h takes. This is a very complicated uh, territory of both sides attacking each other. This is just a fictional scenario. But with f6 check as example, rook takes b3. It seems as though white is able to defend here. For example, here there are defensive resources available. With rook c8 check. And yeah, this is I know this is a work of fiction. This this game example, what well, ends up with a small edge. <laughs> it's a work of fiction, but it just shows Queen E2. It seems as though this might be a tougher than that, not to crack than what we're about to see in the game. If Rook H C A, I mean, there's loads of branches here. This is this is just simulating some games here. Knight takes F6 A4. There's Knight D5 check. That's one of the ideas to bounce to D5 just to get an idea of some plans for both sides in this scenario white would be better so okay queen queen e2 seems more accurate than queen f3 so one you know factual reason you know the, the rook does sometimes play a defensive role and so cutting off one one move more it it seems m maybe that's the key thing there is, is the issue bishop d4 we see knight g3 and now the rook is really cut off on that third rank defensively we see rook hc8 yeah white's position doesn't seem so harmonious rook d2 bishop c3 and yeah this is a brewing attack which seems actually at this moment it seems as though this attack is unstoppable from this point on hence why i wanted to show you some fictional scenarios it seems here you know rook d1 is played because if b takes that's a horrendous form pawn thorn around the king so this fawn in the side pawn is is too dangerous look at this pressure on on white's king white's king is far less safe than black's king in these variations and there's a pass pawn potential as well as demonstrated here so rook d1 trying to ignore that bishop a4 
it turns out here already instead of bishop a4 bishop takes b2 might actually be very strong so king takes b2 bishop a4 here is super dangerous for example this position is leading to you know mate so let, let's try and improve things there uh, so let's see so king a1 was what I mentioned there which is which is leading to a quick mate on that diagonal being very sensitive but instead of um, king a1 queen d3 there's bishop takes c2 and this situation even if uh, white has two minor pieces for the rook black is still better in this scenario for example black's getting to be the exchange up yeah the pawns are going to be winning material Black's, Black's winning there as well. So anyway, bishop a4 was played. So bishop takes b2 is very, very dangerous. But this is intriguing what happens, b3. So this is now, you know, let, letting a pawn chain be constructed to totally demolish it, essentially. Can you see what black plays in this position for 100 points? Okay, we see bishop takes b3. C takes is played. If A takes, then A4. And this attack is just too strong. So threatening rook A1 checkmate. This is far too strong, this attack. So if ever, you know, takes, there's always like C2, for example. And th this is just a mating net anyway here on, the, on that variation. So it's horrendous. So C takes, B3 is tried. A4. Bishop C4. So for the moment, it looks as though, hold on, is, is this definitely crumbling? So we have bishop takes b3, but guess what black plays now? This is a really brutal game. This really is a brutal game, in my view, for undermining the pawns around the king. So that's a clue. What would you play here? You know, white doesn't get any time with this past pawn. That, that's another clue. Rook takes a2. Yeah, bishop takes is played. If king takes a2, queen a5 check, queen a1 check. And here, bishop e1 cuts escape squares of that king for a king hunt. This is just a winning king hunt. That cuts escape squares for rook c3, probably <clears throat> to be strong. So, yeah, rook c3 check coming in here is going to be strong. Uh, and instead of rook takes e1, if, if knight e2, queen takes d1, queen b3 check. You know, this is all crashing through, essentially. So that's pretty nasty stuff on king takes a2. So we have bishop takes a2. But now b3, yeah, the floodgates have opened to white's king. The resources are coming in. The floodgates have been opened. Queen b2 check, king d3, bishop a5, bishop c4. If knight e2, then queen takes b3 check, rook takes c3 check. Yeah, this is fairly brutal because check here. Is winning even more material so that's that's the end of that really so bishop c4 but now guess what is played here yeah these resources over here are, are really then <laughs> they're spectators they're not really doing anything relevant for white's king so black crashes through again with rook takes c4 yeah <laughs> I, I, yeah i mean i can say the word brutal again uh but uh yeah, this this is, you know, fairly brutal stuff. Now, knight e2, queen c2 check, king e3, bishop b6 check, end of game. Yeah, that is one of the more brutal games I've ever seen, actually, in the Richter Rosa attack. It seems as though by black leaving the king in the center, black had a great time attacking white's king. Here in the final position, knight d4, sure, can be played, but bishop takes d4, check. Rook takes d4, rook c3 is brutal. Rook d3, rook takes d3, checkmate. I know, it's it's one of the more brutal games, I would say, in this course, in this entire course. This is a truly brutal game. So just to recap, from themes to take away, some takeaway themes to think about in our own games. King safety, f taking charge of our own king safety in dynamic ways. So it seems in this particular variation, uh, you know, and protecting f6, it's it's ticking the boxes, isn't it? Instead of just constantly letting f6 go, the king's relatively safe. But the idea of the pawn sack to slow white down here is is pretty nifty in my view. 
so white's attack completely slowed down white's just left with something which is not that exploitable it's only in the distant future if, if white survives the middle game that this this past pawn would be uh used yeah if white's accuracy needed is such that yeah queen f3 it maybe we can look at it like the third rank needs to be made available for this rook as well as this plan of g4 g5 so those two things really didn't happen in this game and that's to white's king's demise basically yeah this is just opening floodgates the sacrifices just keep opening floodgates to the king here so absolutely fascinating attack the art of attack here i would say is being demonstrated quite vividly so yeah a wonderful game example but um I just want to say though that uh yeah it's not often you see who you fan um beaten like this so she's usually on the winning side a very fan great aggressive dynamic player herself so um okay but uh, this was a rare instance so white's king uh, was proved to be less safe than black's king in a nutshell here okay thanks very much